I've returned back to page one of this document to show you animation features inside of InDesign. I'd like to have Mars appear just coming into the frame as this page loads up and then maybe animate the text titles as well. So first of all, if I just click on my text here, I then go to my animation panel. Now I will pull this out so you can see this in isolation. It picks up the name from whatever we've typed into the text frame. And then under presets, you can choose any one of these. Now they will vary from good to bad to ugly. I'm going to choose flying from top. And you get a very short butterfly animation of what that kind of looks like. It will then tell us in here that the event will load when the page appears. It will last for one second and it will play one time. So what we can do then is just click on the link here to uh, preview this. It will open up our previewer. I can then click on play and we get that. Just a simple, straightforward animation. So it would be nice if it just uh, appeared on screen a little bit slower. So under duration, if I change that, and every time you tap up on this, it's going to change by 0.25 seconds. So let's just change that to a two and hit return. And then go back to the preview, click on play. That's better. And then it would be nice if I could click on the bar that appears just under it. That's just a rectangle and change that to a preset of fly in from left. And then let's change that one to two seconds as well. Go back to the previewer. And if I click on play, you'll see that the very first thing I animated on this layout was the Mars awaits text. The second thing we animated was the bar. And that's essentially how InDesign orders the sequence of things that are animated. And then I'll close down the previewer and select the image of bars. And we'll animate this one next. I'm going to choose here, fly in from right. And if I click on the preview in here, this is probably going to be nothing like what we want. It comes in really fast. And I don't want it to come in quite that far as well. I only want this to be very subtle. So in terms of where this begins, I can hover my cursor over the green line, which is called its animation spine, click on it, and then I can drag it over here like so. So the animation line isn't quite so long. Go back to the previewer, click on play, animates the text, then the bar, and then Mars. So perhaps in this occasion, the duration for the Mars one, if I change that to two seconds again, hit return, go back to the previewer, click on play. And I think that's more appropriate. So I can close down the previewer. And if you ever want to alter the way that things animate in the sequence, well, at the bottom of the animation panel, you've got what's called a timing panel. Click on that. And then I'll just move these to the side of one another. So we've got Mars awaits, which is our text, the rectangle. And then we've got Mars global, which is the JPEG file. Now, what I'd quite like to do is just have Mars uh, animating first. So I can click on that and drag it up to the very top of the list in there. Now, sometimes it's a bit fussy. You might have to click on the other item and drag that underneath. And so now I've got the JPEG appearing first and then Mars and the rectangle appearing at the same time. If I go back to the previewer, click on play. And we get that. Now it's a little bit slower. So what we could do is click on Mars awaits and shift and click on the rectangle and you can actually link them together like so. So these two items will play at the same time. Go back to the previewer, click on play and those two things animate at the same time. So there's lots of flexibility in how you can animate inside of InDesign, a feature that on the face of it doesn't really feel like it could exist inside of InDesign. It's actually got quite a lot of subtlety and a lot of things you can do with it. I'll click away from there and then go up to file and choose save.